Apparently this place is haunted. <laughs> I got a feeling this is gonna end horribly. But That's the, the trick of the zombie. That's actually a good point. <laughs> Welcome to Food Files, where we take your recommendations and our mouths across the country to investigate delicious food. My partner, a Midwest cheese lover. Myself, a Southern California garbage monster. Both of us, hungry. hungry. This week, we're in Austin, Texas for our Ghost Files tour and are about to try some tasty ass food. This time, we've got our old pal Jared Sosa with us behind the camera, bringing us some of Austin's tastiest selections. And he'll be bringing to our green room your recommended tacos, tiki drinks, and desserts that we'll be trying before we walk out on stage. Our Texas run was sweltering. We got into Austin, what, 2, 3 p.m.? Very hot. There was a heat warning. 107. So we got into Austin and then we went on over to the venue, which was the Paramount Theater. Actually, fun fact about the Paramount Theater, it is haunted, apparently. And has had some very storied uh, performances there. Houdini, the Marx Brothers. And then us. Uh, and us. Yeah. And us. Yeah, 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 yeah. When we get to these venues, we get a little tour of where everything is stationed. And normally we're just doing that raw. Yeah. But this time we had popcorn in our hand and I got to walk around with a warm box of popcorn. I will say they're one of the few venues that did this for us. They knew that we were the preeminent kernel heads of the world and they prepared their lovely kernels for us and at the concession bar. And we went out there to get footage of the popcorn to talk about it. Instead, Shane uh, chose to spend his time talking to a security guard there about hats. He asked for me 20 about minutes. my hat. And where, I was happy to apply. And, and he left me and Jerry Jared stranded to talk about the popcorn on our lonesome. Well, I thought I would show up in Texas with my open road Stetson and people would be like, what are you doing? But everyone was like, I love your hat. It was a real kick to talk about hats with that guy. <laughs> you guys locked eyes and had like, really made yourselves an impromptu haberdashery. Yeah. Well, our first food file is submitted by Melissa, Sahur, Maddie, and Ayla. Let's download. Our favorite restaurant is Veracruz. We recommend the grilled fish, barbacoa tacos, donerina tacos, and el pastor tacos. There's a lot of tacos here that are recommended. We don't always have the stomach space to do so. So we're gonna actually be trying the barbacoa taco that was recommended to us. Oh In, my God. This looks <laughs> intense. This looks like I'm immediately gonna pass out. Well, you know, Austin, if I pass out on stage tonight, blame you're not worried about passing out. Oh, you're worried about passing. <laughs> oh, how is it? Really good. Yeah? Kudos to Veracruz. They make a good taco. Tacos are also a nice pre-show treat because you can have a little taco, you know, you know, a little taco. You can just have a little bit, you know, right? You That's have true. A, you you can have you a could, little bit. You could portion control. Also, I don't feel like such a piece of garbage after I eat a taco. Yeah. Whereas if I house a burrito, yeah. it might be time to lay on the couch for a little. Was this the place where you took a piss? No, that was um, Houston. Houston. This was the tour date before Austin, I believe. Left mid-show to go take a pee. I love beverages. I drink me. so many beverages. You sure do. And he stranded me on stage and left a fellow ghoul boy You don't mind drive. the spotlight. No, I, I, did, I, I, I cowered in it. And the also, show, the bathroom was very far from the stage, <laughs> so I had to <laughs> bound. Uh, yeah. But you told a long story. I told a long story. It was, a f it was fine. But speaking of beverages. It's now time for our second food file submitted by Anna. Hey, Shane and Ryan. I would definitely recommend that you guys check out Tiki Tatsuya. It is so fun. Think Trader Sam's downtown Disney vibes. I think you'll love it. Get any drink on the menu. They're all good and they're all fun. We would also recommend that you order the Kahlua pork. They come with lettuce wraps and amazing toppings and also get the aburi rice, which comes with tuna on top. The vibes are good. It's so fun with a light show. It's amazing. Definitely check it out while you're here. So Anna did say that all the drinks at Tiki Tatsuya were very good. Jared brought us a Dharma and a zombie. Well, okay, cheers. Let's cheers these massive tiki drinks the, before the we go on stage. Oh. Oh, this is good. Tiki Tatsuya. Good branding. Can I have this one? Sure. You can have that one. Unless you don't want either of them, then I'll take both. You could take both. What? What are you going to do with that? I, like, I collect them. No, you don't. Yeah, I have a bunch. Strange guy. They're fun. <laughs> what, you throw them out? Yeah. 
They're clearly disposable. You collected root beer bottles. Yeah, because those have value. Oh They're glass. God. These are plastic spoons. Get out of here. You okay. collect your spoons from yogurt land too? <laughs> stop. Stop <laughs> it. Stop it. Stop it. Come on. This is quite good. And you kept the little sword. The swizzle. What do you do with them? Eh, keep them. And then you look at them. Uh, we also had food from this place. We started yeah. with the Kahlua pork. Cheers. Oh. That's good Kahlua pork and the chili crisps. Very on point. I love a lettuce wrap. Makes it feel healthy. It, it does, even if you put something like pork shoulder <laughs> yeah. in it. Uh, it has the illusion of like, oh, I'm being good. Yeah. It got us back. It got us back into the light. It did. This is nice. It's very oh. pleasant that this is warm. Oh. Oh my God, yeah, I completely forgot. Shit how good so we also had yeah. a buri rice oh yeah that's the ticket that's the best item of the night by far this shit was good this was definitely the winner of the night i would say yeah especially paired with the cocktails yeah looks I like you're to... rolling a cigar right now <laughs> like a fat cat <laughs> Was this the most full we've ever been walking out onto a stage? It's up there, and that's probably why I did a plank. Yes, that's. I yep. did. Didn't I do? I think I did a plank here. I don't know why I did that. I'm sure you'll see it in the footage. We'll get some context. I'm certainly. But... I think it was to burn off some of the stuff. Yeah. Or we were just talking about planks. It's possible. You were talking about Stanley Tucci disavowing his acting performance at an award ceremony. So they show a clip from it, and then it cut to him in the audience at the Oscars, and I think he says. Often. <laughs> Which led into talking about DVD extras of the musical uh, movie Cat. How many times have you seen that uh, behind the scenes footage? You should see Judy Dench. <laughs> Which led into dirty jokes about being Judy Dench. Right. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. She's on all fours. Looking for a ball. <laughs> Which led into her planking abilities. How long can Judy Dench plank? hold plank and we can raise money? Which led into the average man's planking abilities. How long is like an average plank length? Which led into Ryan. Can he help? He could plank as well or better than the average man. 1.5 minutes. Whoa. That's not that long. Those, huh? I could do that right now. <laughs> so that's how that works. I think we should just use the audio of what Adam behind camera explaining to us how, and it kind of was illuminating for me in terms of just how we get to certain topics. Cause I thought, oh, naturally there must've been some sort of, you know, maybe it was cooked on plank and that's why we planked. No, just intercut that whole explanation with it. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I did a plank. I bet you I can I hold- I think it's about 10 seconds, that's as long. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on, I don't have my- I don't know Wait, what the time I gotta right. look up got... how old Judy Dench is. Okay. I... Wait, one <laughs> study with- <laughs> Judy Dench is 88! One study with college students found the average plank time 1.7 minutes for males. I got a feeling this is gonna end horribly, but let's do it. It'll burn off some of the food. This is not influenced by the tiki drink. No. Really? Here we go. Yeah. yeah. Let me know when yeah, you start. Yeah, yeah, go, go! Well, I could already tell you about six seconds in, this is an enormous mistake. <laughs> but how would Judy Dench be doing? Just put yourself in the mind of Judy Dench. Okay, wait, hold on, let me do that. You're a dame. I You're am a dame. Cats. I am a dame. How many, how long am I at? 46 seconds. Really? No, it's 25 seconds. Oh! <laughs> this is really hard. Oh! <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. This is not fair. I just ate Kahlua pork and had a tiki drink. Oh. Okay, how long am I at now? 55 seconds. That's not even that much longer than the last time I asked. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to look at my face right. Why are my eyes so bloodshot? Oh my God. That's that zombie. No. Oh, overtime. fuck. Okay, how long am I at now? One minute and 10 seconds. Okay, how long do I have to go for? What point? 40 seconds. 1.7 minutes? Oh. oh god, this is really hard! Okay, how long am I at now? 125. <laughs> this is torture! I can't do it! I can do it, okay, I can do it. I think you've more, well, okay, so 7.75. You've, you've done it. Okay, thank god. That's 1.7. Oh. 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 Now, could Judy Dench do that is the question. Should we do those before every show? Maybe. I'm exhausted. We'll drink your zombie. Yeah. Oh my god. We have dessert coming? 
All right, our third and final food file submitted by Victoria. Hello, Ryan and Shane and Yaseo from South Korea. My recommendation would be my favorite desserts place in Austin. It's called OMG Squee. So to beat the summer heat, I think y'all are gonna need a sundae, except this one's gonna have a twist. Y'all need to order the taiyaki sundae. And instead of like a regular bowl or like a cone, you guys are gonna get that beautiful little fish bread just loaded up with goodies. I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. Mani mogo! Bye bye! Wow. That's really good. It's very creamy. Doesn't feel like too much. Mmm, and this ice cream is Another really, ice cream is incredible. really, there's a creamy vanilla to it, and then I don't know what the purple is, but. Ube. Whatever that is, it's quite sweet and quite it's a good. potato. Really? I believe ube is a potato. Oh, wow. Oh, man. Really good. It, I, I was a little skeptical when I heard it was basically like fish ice cream. Yeah. Well, the fish is just the shape. I thought there was the, fish actually in the ice cream. No. No? No. no. Well, then I had a reason to be skeptical. <laughs> because there is no fish in it. Mm. I mean, 10 out of 10. I am, I, I've never been this exhausted heading into a show. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right. This is like the opposite of swaggy intros to a, a comedy special on Netflix. It's just us limping to stage. <laughs> That does it for this episode of Food Files. Thank you guys for watching, and if you haven't got your tickets yet for Ghost Files Live, there are some tickets for Los Angeles, San Francisco, and Vegas. Our last Vegas, show. Vegas, baby, Vegas. Our final show of the year. Well, I hope to see you guys out on the road and download some more Food Files. And next time we're in beautiful New York City. The well, big apple. Yeah, that's right. Do you think we'll eat apples? It would be so good. What if we just eat apples? That would be sick, I'd be like a horse. How, how?